It is time for another theme park coasting top 10 video where we count down the top 10 rides and attractions at theme parks all around the world. So join me today as we count down the top 10 rides at Aussie World. At number 10 we have Bombora Bounce and if you are scared of heights skip to number 9 as this family drop tower is like no other. Standing at 10 meters tall if it was just a traditional drop tower, this would be fun for the family. However, this is no ordinary drop tower, this is Bombora Bounce. And as you can probably guess by the name, not only do you rise and drop, but also bounce up and down while spinning, making this not only great for the kids, but also the adults alike. Are you ready to spin as for our number 9 position, Mozzie Muster is the Aussie take on a classic waters ride. Now these waters rides are located everywhere, so as much as it is a fun ride, if you have a short amount of time we would recommend trying the more unique attractions at the park first. Nevertheless, if you get a chance to ride, you will be in for a treat. Actually, a very dizzy treat with your car spinning on a turntable which is also spinning, causing some guests to be making the most of the free Aussie toilets. It is time for our first roller coaster on the list and of course it is no other than the wacky worm called Bug Run. Created for the little thrill seekers at the park, you will be shrunken down to a size of a bug and once boarded head through a garden full of humongous leaves, mushrooms and butterflies while also speeding along the track and dropping at up to 6 meters per second. This attraction is 100% for the younger kids but with all of its theming layout this ride it definitely does not bug me either. Da ding ding. If you want a bit more of a sting towards the ride than Bug Run, you will love our number 7 spot, The Wasp. As despite the theming not being that great on this ride, the ride makes up for it. On this attraction you will get to experience the buzz of flying as when the ride begins you will start to spin. But here is where it gets cool as you have added controls which means that while you are spinning you can also shoot yourself sideways into the air at any point. How cool is that? And for that reason I would recommend getting stung by the wasp on your next visit to the park. For the number 6 position on our top 10 list we have Ferris Wheel. Now I would assume that you probably know how this ride works but basically you will rise up and down in a circle formation for the duration of the ride. However I couldn't make a video without putting this ride on the list as with its spectacular views of both the Sunshine Coast and the park as well as slowly rotating around you really feel like you are at the top of the world. Just make sure you are above the height of 1 metre before riding. Top 5, what what, or should I say 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off. Because for this position we have Space Shaker Spinning Ship and I do hate to break it to you guys but you do not actually go into space but instead head on a pirate ship style ride themed towards space. For starters, we would recommend either getting the front or the back of the ship for a more intense time, but no matter where you sit, the sensation of rising up and down, in addition to the weightlessness when you reach the top, is definitely a sensation that you will not forget. And for that reason, Space Shaker Swinging Ship is at number 5. Let's take a trip into the sky as for our number 4 spot we have Ballroom Blitz and do not let the name fool you as once boarded this Victorian themed wave swinger you will start to spin while also rising up to 15 meters in the air leaving you soaring with your legs dangling. But it does not stop there as this machine halfway through starts to tilt making your experience just a little bit more thrilling. I would say this is probably our first thrill ride on the list so make sure to dance with caution 
on the ballroom blitz. Here we enter the top three rides at the park and on those hot Australian days, our number three spot is perfect for the weather. This is Plunge, the park's water ride. If you are brave enough to board a log and set off on your adventure, get your spare pair of clothes ready as on the layout not only is there spectacular theming and some leisurely waterways but also there is two drops and a mystery tunnel. The thing is though you do not get wet, you get soaked on this attraction and for that reason queues can get pretty long as the day goes on so if you want to maximise your day we recommend getting on there as soon as you can. Between number two and number one, it was tough. However, taking the number two spot, we have Redback. And if you have ever wanted to spin around and around and around and around while also rolling up and down, this is exactly what you need because this thrill level ride will push anyone to their limits. Once boarded one of the 24 seats with, let me tell you, one of the most uncomfortable restraints that you will ever experience, your ride vehicle will start to rotate both clockwise and anti-clockwise at the same time while the ride vehicle is going up and down on an arch shaped track. Many people do argue though that due to it being a smaller model of your typical Zamperla Disco it is not as fun but in my eyes I think it spins a lot more providing a lot more thrills and therefore it is definitely worth the number 2 position. We have finally made it to the number one spot and the best ride at the park has to be no other than SX360. Now before we even start talking about the ride itself, I'm just going to say that anyone who is fate hearted, it's probably best to enjoy the view of the ride than riding it itself. In a nutshell, you are on a wheel plate, a bit like Redback, and then is attached to an arm that completely rotates upside down. And you do not need to be a rocket scientist to know that with its speeds of up to 80 kilometers per hour, 32 meters high, and 5G forces as well, this will provide you with thrills like you have never experienced before. Without a shadow of a doubt, this ride deserves to be on the list and not only a trip to Aussie world but the whole of Australia would not be complete without a ride on Australia's tallest and fastest 360 degrees pendulum ride. That is it from our top 10 video today. Obviously you all have your own opinions and we would love to see them in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed the video at the top, we have got two videos that we know you will love. And at the bottom, there is our Patreon page as well as subscribe button. But with all that said, there is only one thing left to say. My name is Tom Derrick from Theme Park Coasters and I will see you for the next video. Goodbye.